you know, when you when you transition from from Michigan to to California, and you know, from winemaking in Michigan to California, what was one of the biggest surprises to you when you got to California? Any any, any big like, oh, okay, this is totally totally different. Yeah, I think the big one, or there's two probably. So from, um, I guess they're related. So. Uh, in Michigan, grape growing is incredibly challenging. Um, in the wintertime, you have a risk of losing your vineyard or losing everything above the ground or that's not above, uh, below the snow. Um, and then, and so coming out to California and, and that's really not a risk. Um, and then I think followed by in Michigan, you would plant a vineyard on a hill. Uh, anywhere uh, a hill that was southern facing had really good exposure to coming here and there's literally grapes everywhere um, so uh, the two the so kind of using this in my profession when I talk to people customers and people say well how do you know it's a good vineyard and it's like well we're, we're starting at probably a pretty good spot because we're already in California um, so my feeling when I'm trying to find new vineyards for any brand that I've worked for, to me, I often start with the premise that there's not a lot of bad vineyards in California, and especially there's probably not a lot of bad vineyards in Sonoma or, or Napa. Mm -hmm. um, there's just a lot of maybe, there, there's not the same amount of care always given to each vineyard. So um, our job mm -hmm. as a winemaker is try to uncover some of the, the low hanging fruit mistakes, so to speak. Um, and, and sometimes in doing so, you might uncover a gem. Um, that <clears throat> part of my whole mission as a winemaker is always kind of looking for that hidden spot that just is waiting to be uncovered. Um, and for whatever reason, um, it's been overlooked in the past. Maybe there's just a challenge that um, someone hadn't noticed or took an advantage of. So um i think knowing how hard it can be to grow grapes and then seeing how, how much great opportunities we have here in this state um i always feel slightly more grateful um than having having worked in michigan and, and knowing what what the alternative was yeah yeah so you're you're a lucky guy you you you, you get an internship at at maryvale and then you get um like you said you're through perseverance, you, you get, um, a, a job at, at Donald and Estates. Um, and then you become, not only do you get a, a job there, you become after a short amount of time, you become head, head winemaker. Tell, tell us about that. I mean, looks like you, you are powering going from, from success to success. Uh, tell us what, um, about that journey. <laughs> well, I'm glad that's the way it looks. It's good optics, I suppose, in, in retrospect. Um, you know, again, when I started at Donnellan Wines, I had a great mentor uh, whose name's Tyler Thomas. He's the uh, winemaker for Deerberg and Starling down in Santa Barbara now. Um, and I remember early on him possibly seeing something in me that I didn't see in myself. Um, I've always kind of come from humble background where uh, in sports, my, my parents always pushed me really hard and said, oh, you think you're fast? Well, there's someone faster. 